I'm fortunate to have been in school forever, but I owe maybe about thousand dollars or something like that to school since oh two, and it's simply because I haven't been able to get a, a job that I could, you know, earn enough to take care of my current and be able to pay my debt and so forth. I, I would like to pay all my debt. So student loans that folks having these problems with, I don't know. I, I think that uh, it shouldn't be like that. For example, suppose I was a person who had like $200,000 student loan that went to Yale or Harvard or some big time school, Ivy League, and they are uh, uh, employed in a position where they're being paid maybe 200000 a year, 300000 You know, they may still want to pay the minimum or a little bit and have this debt so that in my, in my way of doing it, I would have paid off the debt maybe in about three years or something like that and be free for the rest of my life. In fact, uh, I've discovered that, well, I worked my way through school and I paid all my education and so forth, had no student loans or anything. Um, I, I mean, folks want to go to school and to party and to live just as normal. you got to sacrifice somewhere and try to uh, see how you could cut down your cost and, and, and don't run these big debt. Because you run it up and then, you know, it's a problem, you can't pay it, you got to cancel it, all impediments to your future, your credit rating and all this kind of stuff. I, I think that folks need to um, get the student loan if you have to and work on paying it down as fast as you can. I mean, if my student loan is, say, 60000 and the first year I make maybe 100000 I pay off this 60000 and I'm done with that. I mean, I'm not just going to pay 5000 a year and hope to pay it off in twelve with the interest maybe 15 and then you know you, you lose your job here and there and then you know it's still expected it, it's too confusing and um, you know as I said students got to understand that look um, you you can't be doing all the beers and just idling and wasting your time get a job you know do part-time in school um, you know go evening classes or something so that um, you don't have to put yourself in this debt and real and saying that you know um, it, it doesn't worth going to school because you know I can't get a big job to pay off this debt and so forth. I think going to school is much more important than anything else. I mean, my education is so important to me. I'm able to avoid many of the problems that so many people have fallen into. I, I could solve other people's problems. I, I don't have a problem as such. It's just that my opportunity has not come, my ship has not come in, and so I'm biding time. But there's nothing that I encounter that I can't solve with my education, whether it's a psychological thing, my psychology helps out, sociology, my history, I, there's no problem. And so um, education is so important that I would do whatever it takes to get it, if it's a loan or whether it's to work. Like when I was in college in Trinidad, I was working at the gas station. My, 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 pro, my program was like this. I wake up in the morning about, um, no, no, I wake up in the morning. I, I go home in the morning about 8 o'clock. I go to bed, I got up at 12. Classes start at 1, finishes at 5, 6. I go home, I, I take a little sleep again, I get up at 10 o'clock, I go to work. I was working at the gas station. And so I'm at the gas station from 10 to about 8 in the morning. Um, I will do my studies there. Uh, when work kind of eased down, maybe after 2 o'clock in the morning. And uh, people robbed me, I was robbed at gunpoint about three times. Uh, I still have to go back because I needed the money. I drove cabs, I drove truck, I work in, I drove a garbage truck. Um, I did whatever it took to really get this education because it's so important. And uh, we don't have the loan system like up here. Um, but uh, I, I got through. My grades suffered. I didn't get straight A's or whatever. My teachers were telling me, why don't you do less uh, lower because we know that you're smart and you can do better than this. I want to get out here real quick and I'm going to do full load in spite of all these work and all these problems I have. And uh, I barely graduated, you know, and um, I'm okay. And uh, I, I'm trying to solve the world's problems today. And so, um, as I say, don't let the debt problem stop you from going to school or saying, I spend all this money and uh, I, I can't get a job that is really beyond, you know, this big level, high level, upper class kind of uh, earnings and so forth. Uh, you'd be surprised to know that what non-education does. And lastly, I know that some of the most supposedly successful people have dropped out of school and they make billions of dollars and a lot of individuals think that education is not important. I have a good idea and that's all I need. 
Well, you can discover that um, typing might be something that you could do. I understand computers might be something else. Uh, being able to write properly, uh, the ability to understand the next language, the uh, ability to understand your psychological and sociological. I mean, education is so important. And it's a tragedy that many people have fallen out of school, have made big bucks. And, um, and, and when you look at it, most of them have stole people's ideas and taking people's ideas and making it look like if they're smart. So they're, they're shortchanging us. We're thinking really true that they are smart when they're using other people's ideas, hiring the right people, and they come out announcing it like if you know they're so smart. But education is so important. I say get it and, um, and pay your debt. Um, it's a dumb turn, yes, but don't let it crush you. Let them know, I don't have no work. When you get the job, pay it. You go to school again, you know, get the education.